Hello and welcome to Sigma Excel video tutorials. In this video, I'll be covering the use of the nominal attribute measurement systems analysis tool found within Sigma Excel. Attribute MSA is also known as attribute agreement analysis. If the assessed result contains three or more response levels and the results are listed in numeric or text nominal format, as an example, defect type one, defect type two, and defect type 3, the nominal option should be used. To demonstrate, I'll be using a data set found within Sigma Excel called Attribute MSA Nominal. This is a nominal MSA example with 30 samples, 3 appraisers, and 2 trials. The response is text, type 1, type 2, and type 3. The expert reference column is the reference standard from an expert appraisal. Note that the worksheet data must be in stack column format and the reference values must be consistent for each sample. Click Sigma Excel, Measurement Systems Analysis, Attribute MSA Nominal. Select sample number, appraiser, assessed result, and expert reference, as I'm demonstrating here. If you'd like to add any optional report information, click Report Information and fill in the desired field. Select Percent Confidence Interval Type, Wilson Score. Click OK. This report can be quite extensive, however a quick assessment of the attribute measurement system can be made by viewing the Kappa color highlights. For rule of thumb interpretation guidelines, greater than or equal to 0.9 is a very good agreement, which is indicated in green. 0.7 to less than 0.9 is marginally acceptable, improvement should be considered, indicated in yellow, and less than 0.7 is unacceptable indicated in red. The Fleiss cap statistic is a measure of agreement that is analogous to a correlation coefficient for discrete data. Kappa ranges from a theoretical value of negative 1 to positive 1. A kappa value of positive 1 indicates perfect agreement. If kappa equals 0, then agreement is the same as would be expected by chance. If kappa is negative 1, then there is a perfect disagreement. The previous rule of thumb interpretation guidelines are used here. Fleiss kappa p value. If the p value is less than the alpha, we reject the null hypothesis and conclude that the agreement is not the same as would be expected by chance. Significant p values are highlighted in red. Fleiss kappa lower confidence and Fleiss kappa upper confidence limits use a kappa normal approximation. Wide confidence intervals indicate that the sample size is inadequate. Fleiss kappa overall is an overall kappa for all of the response levels. Fleiss kappa individual gives kappa for each response level. This is useful to identify if an appraiser has difficulty assessing a particular defect type. This tool also includes the Attribute MSA data summary table. Green is a correct appraisal, and red is an incorrect appraisal against a known reference standard. For information regarding the other tables in this analysis, please see the Attribute MSA binary tutorial video. In conclusion, this is a very good attribute measurement system, but appraiser C is marginal, so a refresher would be helpful. This concludes the Sigma Excel tutorial video for Attribute MSA Nominal. For more videos, visit us at www.sigmaxl.com or join us on YouTube. Thank you for watching.